Hello, my name is Charlie Ryan and I'm the Managing Director of the Recruitment Queen and the founder of the Bridge the Gap programme. So what is Bridge the Gap? I think that's the first thing that I do need to explain. And the whole point of it is to bridge the gap between the education sector and what employers expect now when young people secure or try to secure an opportunity with them. And we do need to do something about this so that students understand or at least their expectation is aligned with that of the employer. So what do we need from you as a parent of those students that are eligible to go through Bridge the Gap programme? What we're looking for you to do is to support the student or your child going through it. And we would need you to help us educate. So what are we actually trying to educate through this programme? Well, first of all, the employer expectation. Second of all, the resourcefulness, because one of the things that is seriously missing now is resourcefulness in this world of instant gratification. And without that, students and young people are not securing the right opportunity. But the bigger thing is that when they're in it and in that first job, they're not able to keep it. So we're trying to educate resourcefulness, and that means planning a little bit more, just so that they get to show the employer the skills that are of value. And they show the employer that they understand what is required in terms of attitude to secure the right opportunity. And finally, we're looking to educate on communication. So again, in a world of technology, where texting and WhatsApping and Instagram and everything out there are the main mediums of communication of young people of today, we have to start explaining and educating that the audience as a future employer can be a little bit different. And the customers of that employer might expect a different medium of communication. So we're looking to educate those three things throughout this programme. How are we going to do it? Well, the students that are eligible, and I'm assuming that you are a parent of one of those if you're watching this video, we're going to take them through a live recruitment process, a complete recruitment process from beginning to end, the application form right through to a live face-to-face -face interview on a company's premises. And that's going to take place in March next year. Now, we've got a lot of companies who are bought into this because they want students and young people of today to be what they need. So they're prepared to give back and invest the time to make this difference. And they want to help everybody who has assigned to this. It's all done on a voluntary basis. And we want to make sure that it is going to educate because people are giving up their time to make that difference. So what are we looking for from you? Well. We're looking for you to support your student or your child. And I guess there is a fine line, isn't there, between supporting and then maybe being too helpful. And we want to sort of help under, you know, maybe educate as well here, but help you understand how being too helpful sometimes can remove the resourcefulness or the education that we're trying to give to your child or the student. So it's critical that the support is there, but it is understanding what that support means. And I guess we're allowing and we're looking for the student to be able to fail. Yes, I do mean fail. They will not get every stage of this process right. Sometimes the application form won't be good enough, but that's OK because we're going to take them through to the next stage and give them feedback. But we want this failing to happen so that they learn from it. And this is the environment and the experience that they can fail in. OK, this isn't about your competition as a parent, making sure your child delivers at every stage of this. This is about them wanting it for themselves and going through it and experiencing it so that when they do it for real, they're able to do it and they understand why they're doing it. So we want them to fail. We want them to be able to fail in a secure environment without consequences of not really getting a job. And that way, when they need to get a job and or they need to keep a job, they will understand exactly what to do. So. I guess, you know, part of what we're looking for here is um, for the students to be resourceful to get to the company themselves. But I appreciate that even getting to that company for the face to face interview, I guess some of us still share lifts going to work. But what I am looking for is if you are going to give your child or the student a lift to the employment or to the company that's going to be doing the interviews, 
what I'm asking you to do is make sure they are resourceful to drive that lift. Do they know where they're going? Do they know how long it's going to take you to get there? Have they worked out what time you need to leave? Do they know there's parking that you can pull up outside? Do they know how long they're going to be if they need a lift back? Have they made arrangements to maybe call you when the interview's finished? So, you know, we're looking for them to drive that, not you as a parent. We're not saying don't be there, but we are. It is very important that we are educating this resourcefulness. Okay. I think as well, the other area a parent can be really, really helpful is during the job application process. So there are going to be a number of job opportunities on the website for them to apply for. And maybe you can talk and engage with your child where you are asking them questions about areas that they would like to be in or do. And I think, you know, where you can be really helpful is maybe to move away from the job title at this point and maybe start to explore and question whether they like talking a lot or how much they like being organized or how much they like doing administration um, or staying focused on one job or one project or how much they like interacting with new people. So I think there's a lot you could do to offer an enormous amount of support here um, just in terms of helping them choose the opportunity that they might like to go for, which would be of most benefit in line with their personality. And I am saying in line with their personality, you know, we, we don't want to force anybody into something where they can't be the best that they can be. And your children and your and the students will know themselves better than you think. I know not as well as maybe we all thought we knew ourselves at that age, but there is still a lot to be said for how well they know themselves. And sometimes what we want for them isn't always the journey. So I would look for you to maybe question them and engage with them in a way that allows them to have the freedom to choose those that from the list of job opportunities around there that will most suit their personality. And I think that for me, that for your role as a parent and stakeholder in this process would be absolutely amazing because they do need guidance and we are looking to educate. We're just not looking to make sure that we do. So I guess what I'm trying to say is, can we be helpful and supportive but maybe understanding that being too helpful because of the knowledge we as parents um, or as adults have, having been through lives of experiences on job hunting and jobs, can we maybe understand that that knowledge also had to be gained um, a lot of the time from experiences? And that's when we were delivering our best learning, I guess. So please be as supportive as you can. Um, again, just understanding that line would be amazing. Any questions, obviously filled it, filled it through to the, the school. We are looking for the students to take the lead here. So I know that this might be something you want for your child, but we are saying the student has to want it for themselves because that's actually where the success will come from. And everyone takes a different path. And just because they don't go through this program doesn't mean there won't be something at another point that teaches them. We do believe, though, that I, I personally believe that the more you want something for yourself, the more likely you are to deliver on it, no matter what other people want for us. So please allow your child or student to, to know that they want this for themselves. Don't force them down this route. Um, you know, it'll be run. It'll be run again next year. It's not as though this is the only opportunity for them to do it. OK, so, yes, we're looking for your support. We're looking for your engagement. We need you. Um, we've all got a phenomenal role to play in helping our students today and our young people of today become great employees of the future, if that is what they want. So anything you can do to support would be amazing. Thank you so much for your time today. I know the school will have continued information coming out from us and from themselves in terms of engagement and all the various stages of the process. We have got a timetable that we run to on it. And the live face-to-face -face interviews for the young people will be held in March next year. So any questions at all, please do feed it through to the school and they will come back to us or be able to answer it for you. Again, thank you in advance of your support. My name is Charlie Ryan. Bye-bye.